it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and today I'm here with a small jewelry jar. Uh, this is from my Salvation Army thrift store, and I thought it was quite intriguing. Some of the things that I saw in here, um, there's this little, I don't know if you can see it, that kind of a something in clay, encased in a silver container, uh, some kind of a pendant, I hope, uh, some uh, dyed shell beads, some pretty wooden beads, um, some, there's some interesting colored chain, and, uh, something up here, the sort of filigree. So this, uh, jar is, uh, seven inches tall, and let's see what it weighs. Let me, I always like to weigh it before I start. I better do it in, um, It's two pounds, uh, almost 14 ounces. So I don't know that the jar is going to weigh that much. But uh, so this was uh, $15.99. <laughs> it says do not open. I guess they've been having trouble with uh, people opening the jar to see what's in them. I not, haven't seen this uh, uh, before. Anyway, it certainly deterred my husband from opening it, opening it, and then he made a big joke about me not being able to open it because it says do not open. Anyway, I will uh, carefully go around the top on the tape here. Won't take too much. Good old exacto knife. And wonder if they want their signs back for their next batch of jars. Interesting. Hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Oh, there's some all kinds of stuff in here. So let me uh, pull out a little bit, including whatever's stuck to the lid here. And uh, uh, we'll get started. I'm going to put it over to the side. And let's see, we have... Usually these are broken. It's hard to tell. Oh, it's not. Look at that. This is a little weird on the top, but it's an elephant made out of glass. Look at the beautiful large bale. Oh, that's his ear. And that's not a chip. That's a, a purpose-made Oh, that's kind of cute. I've never seen a glass elephant before. Have you? Wow. Okay. That's, you never know. It's like going to the candy store and you look in the jars and you see, oh, look, I've never seen that candy before. I've never seen a glass elephant before. That's kind of neat. And then here's a pin. Um, a stick pin with what looks to me like a jumping kangaroo what does it look like to you oh that rhymes oh dear you would think this looks interesting the way it's attached so i'll have to look up uh see if i can figure out what that is where it's from and there's a bunch a whole bunch of little pins here so i'm going to put them off to the side we'll do them together oh my second one of these i got one of these not that long ago uh, a little uh, ring watch. This one is called Afterthoughts, is the name. From Sing Singapore Movement Stainless Steel Back. So it looks like the kind of thing that just needs a uh, battery. My granddaughter um, embellished the last one of these we got. It was missing all the rhinestones. And so she put uh, a ring of rainbow rhinestones on it. And... Uh, She's wearing it. So that's interesting. I don't know the significance of the design in the background, but that's a, a very, very wearable, excellent condition ring watch. I wonder if these are coming back or else somebody just had them and never hardly ever wore it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, look. Yeah. I'm always thrilled when I get a piece of stone. I wonder what this is. It's interesting. I mean, it looks like a piece of uh, dendritic quartz. 
that's the name, where you have like dendrites, these little lines in, in the quartz like that. It's almost like you could see a picture in there. Look at that one little thing in the distance, like it's in the fog, if this were the bottom. That is really cool. A little freaky looking, but, you know, it's a little bit like snake skin in one way. Or a shed snake skin, anyway. No markings on the clasp. I didn't expect there to be, but that's uh, a nice pendant. Um, if it's not stone, it's cold like glass. I've, so I don't know. Um, I guess I'll have to look at it under a microscope to see if there's a, like crystalline structure in there. Um, I don't know how you would make glass look like that. You'd have to draw a lot of color through it. I think I've never seen a piece of, um, say, lampwork glass with that kind of um, fine lines in it. I guess it's possible. Well, research in my future. Oh, another elephant. Look at this guy. Oh, he's pretty. Nice blue rhinestones. His trunk is in the air. He's very lightweight. But uh, he'd make a nice embellishment to uh, a piece of jewelry. Or uh, if you didn't mind maybe losing the rhinestones, I guess I could seal them in there. You could put it um, on a wind chime. That would be neat. Oh, lots of cool things. So, um, a ring. Um, Marcia at our vintage store in the last uh, month or so, she had like 40, no, not 40. I think it was like 90 some rings in a jewelry jar. Some of them were gold and some were sterling and some, a lot of them were costume. But just the rings kept coming out over and over and over again. Wow. This one, this thing is almost as long as my finger. It's as long as maybe, uh, about as long as my baby finger, almost. It's, uh, I maybe could wear it on that finger. I wouldn't, I would feel too restricted. But it's in great shape. It's a great little piece of costume jewelry. It looks like it hasn't been worn, or at least not very much. Here is a big, heavy watch with lots of spiffy stuff on it. It's got the picture of an eagle at the top there, so I wonder if it's an American Eagle Outfitters. It's got a uh, seconds dial. It's got a, uh, I guess an hours, like 24 hours dial. I don't know if, and it's got all the buttons to make those things work, I think. Or maybe they're fake, who knows? What does it say on the back? Made in China, stainless steel back, uh, SR626 SW battery, and then it's got the Eagle and a number 16549107. So who knows what the significance of that is? It's, woo, whoever wore this had a smaller wrist than me because that I have a good standard 7-inch ladies wrist and this is very small. So, okay, well, congratulations to whoever was, had a nice strong wrist to hold that. That, like, if I put it on my waist scale, I mean, maybe it's, a, <laughs> it's three and a half ounces. Like, it's almost a quarter pound. That's, that's a weightlifting watch, almost. I saw this from the, uh, outside of the jar. It's just sort of a filigree uh, bracelet. It's a stretchy bracelet. Um, let's see. Oh, that, that, so this, this has got black rhinestones. This has got clear or kind of a grayish. Black, 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 and gray. So we've got three black and then this sort of grayish color. One, two, three, black, and a gray. Neat. Well, that's unusual. So someone had uh, the idea to put a little variety in it. So very nice. Not And not stretched out. Very wearable. Those, those almost look like a blue color when you get them on the side like that. 
so pretty okay and then a couple of oh these are light they're sort of stretchies they're light they've got the hands of hands on them one's uh a rose gold color or what I, I tend to think of as more coppery but I think it's meant to be rose gold it's light enough and one silver tone and they're stretchy but they're they're not a stretchy that's you can easily take part and fix it's act the stretch is actually in the we the the way the metal is attached I don't know if I can if you can, if I put it closer you can sort of see the little it's like little rings holding everything together. So I don't know if that would um, get stretched out over time or not. So there's two, uh, two nice stretchy bracelets. So three stretchies. Another stone pendant. Nice and cold. And uh, it's been wire wrapped. It's a very simple wire wrap, but it's uh, very effective. And I like, I like that little bit of yellow or gold in that stone, whatever it is. Very interesting. I mean, the back is almost as interesting as the front, even though it doesn't have a wrap on it. And I might, I could always do that, rewrap it so that you could wear it either way. This reminds me of clouds on the back interesting oh wow it's always a bit of a challenge trying to figure out which jar will I pick which jar will I pick especially I think this time there were quite a few that I could choose from here's a cute little costume ring small size and it's got oh it's a mood ring look it's turning green to blue to really dark I'm hot stuff and it says friends. So, uh, I don't know, my granddaughter, she's got a pretty big finger. She's like, this is too small for me. And she almost wears a seven. I wear about a seven and a half. So I'll have to see if she uh, wants this to give to a special friend of hers. She started a new school this year because she's uh, gone from junior middle to senior middle. Or se yeah, I guess, I guess what they call it. And uh, so she's lots of friends to give things to. This is interesting. I'm having a hard time deciding whether that's glass. It, I don't think it is. It feels... It feels too light to be glass, but then I've been fooled before. Let's try it on the jar. Oh, there's too much tape on the jar to be able to tell. Hmm. So it's a barrel clasp with silver tone metal beads, some brass beads, some more silver tone. And then down here in the center, um brass and silver tone beads with these little alternating squares that are outlined in metal one two three four five six seven eight nine of these and they're they make good noise but i'm not sure that they're glass they're quite light and you can see that they've got alternating colors of uh of borders there's the silver tone and the brass colored borders and the alternating colored beads across there so that's a very unusual I've never seen anything like that I wonder if it's a, a piece a tourist piece from India or where you would uh, run across a piece of jewelry like this I mean there's no real sharp edges thank goodness because that is a possibility you know something that you'd, you'd run this one's a little rough i'd worry about this one snagging on stuff but or not rough as much as there's like a little 
um, if you can see it. There's a little, yeah, a dip in there, but um, very different. I wonder what you would... This has probably got repurposing possibilities. Um, metal beads with some interesting stones that have got the gray and the, the brass colors in them. I don't know. I'm going to have to let that one sort of percolate in my brain as to what I'm going to do with that. If I'm going to hang on to it and try to make something out of it, I don't know. Wow. A single earring. And, uh, gosh, I've been talking for 15 minutes and we haven't even gotten very far in the jar. Maybe a third of the way down. Here was the, a whole bunch of pins that came out at the beginning of the jar. So let's see what we have here. Uh, an Olympic pin. Canadian Olympic team. And it and it also says Equipe Olympique Canadienne, which is the French copyright of the COC executive promotions, but there's no year. Interesting. So there's a nice memento that for any Canadian Olympic team. Okay, so back to these pins. Um, I sort of separated them out so I could see them all. So we, we saw already that there was one Olymp Canadian Olympic team pin. And there's two more pins that I'll have to look up, which um, I don't know the significance of this particular name. It The O is not, it looks like uh, maybe a First Nations or uh, Cyrillic. I'm not sure. Um, but that's another Canadian Olympic pin. And this one says on the back, can we get it to focus? Um, Canadian Olympic Committee Art 166, oh, Artists. No, is it Artists? Artists. Canada. And then a phone number. So that's interesting. I'll have to look up the phone number. Maybe that'll give me information. And here's another one with the same name and it's got a year now 2004 and it's got two different symbols so i don't know if this is the olympics and the special olympics this is our government of canada logo nice ribbon there and this one says executive pewter canada so i don't know if this is just a, if this is a pewter pin a special type of metal but you know me i like research so lots of fun stuff there then there was this pin, whoops, which is kind of cute. I think it's uh, a heart, a filigree heart with a dove suspended in it. So that would look very pretty on somebody wearing it. There was one of these, a rhinestone angel, very pretty, the way the wings are done. No marking on the back of that. Oh, the other filigree one. No identification on the back. This is interesting. This reminds me of the Brighton Bee. I'll have to go look it up. On the back, it says one tenth, ten karat gold filled. And then it's got another symbol. So, um, yeah, if that's the Brighton Bee, let me know. I do have a Brighton tin and a Brighton bracelet somewhere, so... I'll look it up as well. Then there's this cute little ladybug pin. Isn't she sweet? I'm saying she, you know, ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children are alone. Don't ask me where that came from, but um, that's why I think ladybugs are she's. There's this one, and it says Olafstrom, O-L-O-F. S-T-R-O-M. So there's something else I'll have to look up. And it's got a crown above it. And nothing special on the back of the pin. Um, whoops. There's an eagle. No uh, clip thing. Kind of like the eagle on the watch. 
I don't know if they're meant to be the same thing or not. There's, oh, this isn't a pin. Let's see. There's a couple of these, ABB. So I don't know what company that is, but to look it up, ABB. Two of those. A Canada flag pin. Missing the back, so I'll have to find one for that. A Metro, that's one of our grocery store chains pin, so probably an employee pin. No information on the back. And then, this isn't a pin, but it came out with the rest of the items. It's a little charm. It's princess, and it's not marked, and I tried it out, and it sticks to the magnet. So, most of these stick to the magnet. So, um, yeah, all those pins. So, we're about 20 minutes in, and... Uh, there's, actually, I don't think it's going to take that much to do the rest of the video, but I think I better stop here because there's lots to be lots of little bits and pieces in the end. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these interesting things, and I love the fact that I got a couple stone pendants um, and this interesting little finger watch. Something I never thought I'd ever see was... Uh, uh, handmade glass elephant pendant with a cute little elephant ear and uh, all these different pins especially some sort of perhaps collectible Olympic pins so I hope you take care